You're probably wondering what I'm doing with this small game head. Well, see this broadhead? That's what happens when you leave camp without a small game head and you're a grouse nut like I am. I will shoot grouse with a $12 broadhead. I will shoot them with a shotgun. I'll shoot them with a 22. Any legal means that helps me kill a grouse, I'll do it. And the reason I shot this piece I'm about to show you is because I was out hunting, I'm elk hunting just south of Bozeman here, and I run into this guy, he's just getting back to his truck, and I look and he's got blood everywhere. I'm thinking, man, he must have gotten elk. I wonder if he needs a hand. So I stop and I'm talking to him and he's like, yeah, shot my first grouse. I'm like, cool, where's the elk? Oh, no, I didn't shoot an elk. I mean, the guy had blood from here to here, across his face, in his ear, he had blood everywhere. And I'm thinking, this guy must not skin many grouse. So I got home that night and I said, you know what? I'm gonna do a quick video about how to skin a grouse easy, quick, salvage all the meat and not get full of blood. So this video piece you're gonna see is me doing just that. It was raining that night, so I had to do it in my garage. So I apologize that the footage isn't that great. It's just me putting the camera on a tripod, doing this step by step. But I think when you watch it, some of you already know this and are probably experienced grouse slayers like I am, uh, you already know how to do this. But for those of you who haven't, who've only shot a few grouse and you always make a mess of it, watch this video. And when you're done, you'll realize how quick and easy it is. You need one tool. There's a Gerber multiplier. It has everything you need, it has the pliers, and then it has one sharp blade with those two pieces right there. You can take care of this. It's not gonna make a big mess. You're gonna do it really fast, and when you're done, you're gonna have this big, fat, juicy breast of grouse and two really good legs from these grouse. Anyhow, watch this video. It's gonna make it easier for you to skin a grouse, clean, easy, fast, and salvage every bit of possible meat. Thanks for watching. So, <clears throat> grab the bird like this, and uh, right here, the breast on the bird comes right up here and right up here, and it forms a little B, right? Right up above where, <clears throat> sorry about that. Right up above where the legs meet there, right there, there's a little B, and you pull the, the skin out of there, I'm going to do that real quick <clears throat> and uh, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> right there is where the breast, so I don't know if you can see that right there, but right there where my finger is, that's the bottom of the breast. Underneath that is the entrails. So you take your index finger and you pop it right underneath there and you roll this open just like that and I know this is a little gory but hey this is food so what I've done here is that I got my finger right underneath there and I lifted this up so now the breast is pulled back this way then you turn your bird around and right up here here's the head so you can see where the neck comes down to where the, the uh, breast is. So <clears throat> I don't know if you're trying to let you see that there, but the head was up here. And so you pull that back and, and uh, <clears throat> so the neck goes in right there. The breast, if the bird was laying on his back, it's kind of like this. And now I've lifted the breast up here and I've dropped the, the head down here in the neck. And so you can see all that breast meat right there. So you take your, your index finger and <clears throat> you put it right in where the neck meets the breast right there. You put it in there and then you grab a hold of the back of the bird and you heard that popping and cracking that's the rib cage and you pull it apart and voila there you have a breast with nothing but wings attached and you'll notice there's no BBs or anything in that breast 
That's because <clears throat> when you shoot them on the stump or you shoot them on the ground, you don't have to worry about those kind of problems. So some of you I know eat the, there's the liver, the gizzard, the heart, they'll eat the, the organs in there. I don't. Um, just have never acquired the taste for it. So now I'm going to show you how you get the legs off because with any type of grouse or pheasant or quail, there's always some little tasty morsels on the legs. This <clears throat> and ignore the ugliness of the guts here, but what you do is if this is a back leg, what I just took the the skin with the feathers, don't pluck it. The the skin stays or the feathers stay attached to the skin very easily. So you'll see right here is the hip joint. So I'm holding this bird by the leg in his real post <laughs> real life he would walk around like this. Um, so flip him over. <clears throat> Got his leg all exposed there. So <clears throat> And what I do is I just, and again, I'm going to try to hide the ugly, messy part from you here, which represents the, the uh, well, let's just call it what it is. It's the guts. So <clears throat> you see how that hip joint is right there. You cut that, come through on this side. And what you're doing is you're just cutting the meat away from the pelvic bone. I don't know if birds call that a pelvic bone or not. And so then you just, you saw how I popped that hip joint out. So I don't know if you can see, but right there is what's, what was the hip joint. And you grab that bird and you cut it. Now you got, <clears throat> now you got this leg there. And here's where a multiplier, like this Gerber multiplier, comes in so handy. Is so now you see I've got this leg, got all the skin off it. And if you get the skin off on a grouse, it's not like a duck where you got to pluck it um, or a goose. So you take the the scissors part or the plier part. You can hear this pop. Turn it around, grab your knife part, voila, foot's off, throw that away, and now you got another big chunk of meat to go with your breast meat. And so here, you saw that I had that breast that I took off the body by just putting one finger here and pulling like this. And you can see that's what the inside of it looks like. If you do it right, there's not a bunch of blood on the inside, all the, the innards, the, the guts, whatever you want to call it, came off when I pulled the back off there. So now all you gotta do is pop each wing off, which is very much like what I showed you doing with the, uh, with the legs. So take your multiplier, voila, maybe give the wing a half a twist, take the blade side of your multiplier, and your wing is off. And now I've got one wing left over on this side. Take your pliers on the multiplier, break it, take your knife, and voila. Just like that. I can, if I'm not taking the time to explain everything to a camera, I can skin a grouse really, really fast. Or a quail, or a pheasant, or whatever it is. So now when I'm all done, what I have is a big chunk of breast meat that I'm going to go wash off. And I've got two really tasty legs. Rough grouse, skin it, not a mess, easy, clean, done and just less than probably three or four minutes and it's ready to throw in the frying pan.